guys, it's Glenn from GlennCarCollection.com, and today we're going to talk about discounts on the Toyota Supra. So if you follow the channel, we have a lot of videos from the, uh, the Supra. I'm a former Supra owner, and uh, there were even dealers when this new Supra came out for 2020 asking $198,000, if you could see my video on that. Now, we have a full, complete review of the Toyota Supra. I was fortunate enough to drive it uh, last spring or so, so at the end of this video, I'll link in the last 20 seconds my full Toyota Supra review. So we're, anything I covered there, I'm not going to cover in this video. I try to make every video a little different. So remember, subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the Supra, and of course, share these videos so our channel can grow. Okay, so let's give a little background on the 2020 Supra before we tell you, before I tell you what the discount is. And I think that discount could get a little better. And I'm going to tell you why also at the end of this video. So remember, the 2020 Supra is powered by a three liter turbocharged inline six, producing 335 horsepower, 365 foot pounds of torque. Right now, the only transmission is an eight speed automatic and it's a very good ZF eight speed automatic. You'll see my comments on that from my full review when you watch it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a manual comes, you know, Supra has a lot of competition right now and it's not selling that well. You got the C8 Corvette, you got other cars coming out. I wouldn't be surprised they can really separate themselves with a manual transmission since you're not going to be able to get that in the new uh, C8 Corvette. It's rear drive, which I love. Zero to 60 time of about 4.1 seconds, a top speed of 155 miles per hour. It weighs just under 3,400 pounds, of course, depending on options. And uh, it actually gets really good gas mileage for a turbo six cylinder, 2431, which is uh, really excellent. So in my review, I really like driving the car. The eight speed automatic was, uh, was perfect. It's just as fast as an M2, as an M2, maybe a tick faster. We also have an M, uh, obviously I own an M2 and we have an M2 competition review on the channel as well. So check those out. And it was really fun to drive for me personally. And I thought it was fast enough. I mean, Hey, we always want more power. So I'm all for that. But, uh, it was a fast car. You're not going to drive the Supra saying it's slow. It is very, very quick. For me to buy it personally, I think I would need a manual transmission. I think that would just be another layer. So I could tell you I have a couple of reviews of the uh, Jaguar F-Type, and it's very good. Same automatic, 8-speed ZF automatic. And then I actually drove uh, a friend's manual Jaguar F-Type, and the car, and I love the F-Type, was twice as good, maybe even three times as good with the manual. So I'd equate that to the Supra. I think it's a, it's a really good car. It's a good enough car to buy. I just think it would be another level with a manual transmission, but that's my opinion. I know most people prefer the automatics. Uh, the discounts now, we finally see discounts. So we had when the Super came out, uh, as you can see my video, dealers asking 198,000, these huge markups. The markups went away pretty quickly. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of things people like about the Super, things they don't like about the Super. I am a former uh, Super owner. I had a Mark II Supra, so I've always loved these cars. So right now, the discounts are about $2,000. You can get about $2,000 off sticker 2020 Super. Now, why is that? A, they weren't selling well. Uh, B, they just announced the 2021 Super is going to have a lot more horsepower. So you can check out my video of that of the changes for the 2021 horsepower. We don't have time to get into that here, but you can watch that video. But I think this, uh, the discounts are going to get bigger. I wouldn't be surprised as we lead up to the 2021 more powerful Supra if we don't see discounts three, four, five thousand for leftover models. Now remember a two thousand dollar discount. Honestly, I'd rather wait for the 2021 Supra to come because they're both going to depreciate the second you get off the lot, right? Well, usually model years are two to $3,000 difference. So you're only getting 2000 off. It's, it's kind of negating because you're going to lose that money anyway, because the 2021 cars are going to come out. Plus you're going to get a lot more power. I think when these cars are five years old, people are going to want the more powerful one, not the original 2020. There's really nothing uh, special about it that you're going to want that over the more powerful car. So if you need to buy the car now, great. You should be able to negotiate a $2,000 uh, discount. If you could wait a little longer, then the discounts will be steeper. And again, I think when the 2021 Super comes out, we'll see MSRP again. And, you know, it's competing against things now like the C8 Corvette. When that's more readily available for people, you know, you'll start to see at some point as we approach 2022, a couple thousand dollar discounts on the 2021 model. So there's always going to be, you know, a discount if you wait, wait long enough. So in conclusion, I think this is a really fun car to drive. Like, I don't care that it, I love BMWs, so I don't care that it has a BMW engine, uh, BMW dash, 
the cars drive differently. So I drove this car, when I drove the Toyota Super Press car, I drove it back to back with the M2 Competition and they drove totally different. You can see my two reviews, I kind of go over the uh, similarities and differences there. And the cars are tuned differently, even though they have you know, the same engine, the same dash and share a lot of parts, they're, they're definitely tuned differently and you can make a case for owning both of these cars at once. Always more, the answer is always both. But I think you'll really like the car and I just think it might be worth at this discount for $2,000 if you can swing it financially, wait for the 2021 model because I think you're really gonna be happy with a more powerful car. All right guys, remember to subscribe, share this video so our channel can grow, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the 2020 Super and the discount, and would you wait for the more powerful 2021 car, assuming you're buying that in MSRP, and of course, like this video. <laughs> Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you next time.